Well, one of the challenges I dealt with during rehab was not being able to do an exercise that should have been easy, like a step up or walking or jogging. I think the biggest challenge in my rehabilitation was feeling like I could do more than the doctor was, was allowing me to do or the physical therapists were allowing me to do and disciplining myself to, to follow that advice and not push it too far too soon. Challenges were other injuries that came about as a result of the, the therapy. Uh, old back injuries, old neck injuries. With the first surgery during rehab, there wasn't too many complications. Um, I think it was six months afterwards, I was playing soccer again, and my knee kept developing fluid. I would just develop this swelling that I could not get it to go down. Um, so I went and saw the surgeon about it, and he ended up draining my knee which was uncomfortable at the time, um, but after draining it once, and he, I, I believe I got a cortisone shot, um, and after that it was fine, and it went away and never bothered me again. Um, for the second surgery, I developed tendonitis in my hamstring. Because they harvested my hamstring for the ACL, um, throughout the recovery and the rehabilitation, the um, scar tissue had bound my hamstring tendons together, so they weren't sliding across each other like they should be. So that caused a lot of pain. And for a while they couldn't figure out what it was, but then they finally did. And so I had to go back for more physical therapy where they used electrodes and deep muscle massaging and deep muscle therapy where they were able to break up the tissue and get me back to where I was. And after that, I was fine. The biggest challenge was uh, gaining full uh, range of motion. Um, how do I accomplish that? Stretching, uh, riding the bicycle more, more often, uh, walking backwards on a treadmill, walking on a treadmill. I adhered quite closely to the um, protocol. I think that it was emphasized to me very strongly that I shouldn't push ahead too quickly. I, I was very strict in my adherence to the to the doctor's prescribed um, rehabilitation and the PT's prescribed rehabilitation. <clears throat> and I also used the, uh, the guided imagery tapes that I had used prior to my surgery for the nine weeks post-op as well. Um, they weren't very specific in rehabilitation exercises, but it was very relaxing. And, and I think that, and I, again, believe that your mind can help you heal and some of the guided imagery that I tapes that I used helped me along with that as well. Throughout my rehabilitation I listened to the guided imagery program um, and it helped me list, um, relax and um, at times that I was discouraged I would listen to this and it would just relax me and put me into a much calmer mood and I remember you had to visualize a strong ACL and that actually help me um, because I just kept dwelling on the fact that my ACL would not be as strong when I finished um, and just nervous if it was going to work and so listening to the program I was able to visualize this strong ACL and it became ingrained in me that I was going to have the strong ACL and that it was in me and so that helped me get through it. I would say I adhered very well to the prescribed rehabilitation protocol. I went to rehab, like I said, five days a week. I've stuck with rehab because I know it's the best thing for me and that it'll get me prepared for next season playing lacrosse. Um, for my first surgery, at first I was adhering to the program religiously. I did everything that they told me and then I got lazy. Um, and they started noticing and I didn't think they'd be able to notice. Uh, I would skimp out on my exercises, not, not do them all the way. I mean, if they said 12, I would do seven. Um, and they noticed, and I noticed, and I wasn't progressing the way that I should be. And they told me, they're like, you're not doing it, and we can tell. And so I started following it again. Um, and it was only like two weeks span that I didn't do it, um, but I didn't make any progress. And that was frustrating for me because I wasn't getting anywhere, and it was making, well, at the time I didn't realize it, but it was making my recovery that much longer. So I started adhering to the the program that they gave me and doing all my exercises and as much of a pain that it was, it did help. Um, but for my, for my second surgery, I knew that I couldn't slack off, so I didn't. I just continued setting goals and getting them.
I never once thought that I wouldn't go back to gymnastics, so that was just pushing me through. I have to get better for next year. After the surgery, I was back a week or two after the surgery coaching again, and I wanted to have full you know, mobility as quick as possible for my players so I can coach you know, the way I'm supposed to coach and uh, give them you know, maximum effort you know, like I expect from them. Within a month of coming back to the sport, I was, I was fine, and I didn't really think about it anymore. <laughs> Once I, you know, I had the brace on, I took the brace off, and that was it. And while I was recovering, there were certain goals that I would set, and so it was frustrating trying to make those goals, but I, I don't, if I didn't set the goals, I wouldn't have had much of a drive, because when I set a goal, I, I have to get it. Returning to sport, had some mixed emotions. One was it was exciting to be going back to doing my sport instead of just doing rehab every day, but also extremely frustrating at times. And just to be able to do it again was uh, was a, a, a nice feeling. There's nothing like flying down a ski uh, slope at about I don't know 40 miles an hour and uh, knowing that everything is feeling good, the knees feeling good, and uh, everybody seems to be having fun, and you are too. You can't have fun again. It was a, it was a great feeling getting back out there. Oh, naturally very happy to be able to return to the things that I love doing. Overall, the ACL surgery, it's, it's hard. It's not an easy thing to go through, and it is painful, um, but it's mandatory. And you need to go through that if you want to continue on with sports and being active um, and have pain-free knees, because now having both my ACLs done and being a year after my second one and a couple years after my first one, I don't have any problems and my knees are back to normal. And I know people who have had ACL tears and have opted out of the surgery and continue to have knee problems. And they look at me and say, well, why aren't you having pain? And I was like, because I, I went through it. So yes, it's a lot of pain, but in the big picture, it's worth it. It's a, it's a hard road. Um, there's ups and downs, but in the end, if you stick to what you know, you're told to do and what you feel is right for you to do for your body, you'll be successful and it is worth doing.